reckless driver, he's going left and right. I knew this guy from the all the way back in Pennsylvania. This guy was uh, he was driving not reckless but carelessly. He was shifting lanes back and forth, stopping, accelerating. Hey, Dad, I, you just passed me. Just flat bed. It looks like you got a flat tire back there on your uh, right rear trailer. Right here, I'm going to pull over. It's the uh, Great Lakes uh, Rest Area Service Plaza in Ohio. I believe this is right after exit 173. If you guys ever decide to stop by here and just think of me, Trucker Bug has been here. Um, next time, I'm going to get name plates. It's going to say Trucker Bug. I will nail it in tree so that way when you drive by and you see that tag on the tree it's gonna say trucker bug after all trucker bug is a legend a legend of all travel to all the countries reside in the United States now he is a truck driver after doing all kinds of office work management business business management now here I am so what am I supposed to do? Keep on driving. So I'm gonna pull over here for a second and I'm gonna stretch my legs. Gonna do some little inspection going around the truck. Taking, trying to wanna look at, see if things are holding up good. And then we're gonna proceed and get to our destination today would be Michigan. So if you guys want to hold on tight, I will go ahead and remove the dash cam and take a walk with me around the back and we'll take a look at a few things here and there and talk about a few things here and there because what we just did and experienced just earlier, it was a great lesson to understand because how we can save ourselves, how we can keep safe from all the other dangers. How do we do that? All you need to do is keep on watching my videos. Well, fellas, as you all can see, the moment of the action took place right in front of me, approximately 20 feet away. 20 feet away, you're traveling 65 miles an hour. You're approximately 73, 74,000 pounds gross weight. Now, all the recruiters out there, when you guys are recruiting, some of you guys driven a truck, some of you guys never done. You just read a book and you became a recruiter. How do you train a driver? You got to train a driver. Check out my videos. Spread it out there. Share with your buddies there, you know, from all over the states of America. Share and share. And uh, save my videos. It would be a great example when you... Uh, teach the, your new students you can flip that video and pop it right there right in front of their faces and let the new students see what is going on because and, and when you're looking at this way and then you look at this way but you got your both hands and all of a sudden somebody comes snap right in front of you what do you do well that's for me to know for you to find out so most of your recruiters out there you want to recruit the new students pop the videos and then you'll find out how we do things around here. Was it a good driver or was it a bad driver? He was a bad driver, because why? I've been spotted him for about 300 miles back. 300 miles back, this person was heading west and that's how he's been driving, but I'll, all right? But it happened to me, he happened to come right in front of me and he did, 20 feet away. And all of a sudden, I flipped the camera. The reason why, because I knew this person was not a good driver. And based on that, for him being a not a good driver, I decided to roll the camera for my safety. From 65 miles an hour, he's cutting right in front of me. He, he's doing 30 miles an hour. And because I knew that he was not the right person, and I knew that his actions was going to take place right in front of me, and he did. So basically, I knew, I knew, I knew, basically, let me put it this way. My six senses told me that he is going to cut me off. 
before even me coming close to him about 20 feet away, I already slam on my brakes. And guys, you guys are going to have to watch things out like that. Because guys like that is a danger to you and all the other vehicles that drive through the state of Ohio. Could be anywhere, doesn't have to be in state because that's where it happened. But now, here I am, I'm happy. The truck is in all in one piece and we don't have to go through a lot of documentation and paperwork. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get over there and stretch my legs a little bit. guys ever be here transport services transportation equipment providers daytime hours give them a call 800-589-4231 service after hours 440-537-3418 give that guy a call if you have a problem Got my hot lot here. And we got another two hours to go. Everything looks good. Got me one of these uh, chili lime chicharron. It's supposed to be fried pork skin. But the lady told me that you could get the lemon type with a little spice to it, but I tried it. It's okay, I can't complain it. But I won't give it about 100% or do a thumbs up for this. Well, I'll keep it down here. Let me see how much more time I have left to get to that location. I don't think uh, I don't think that's a lot of a lot of time. Oh, that's it. Two hours. We have about 160 minutes left. We have about two hours left. I show it to you right here. Can you see it? Here we go. That's this is where we are right now and right under cleveland we're going to move further west and uh, we're going to go through uh, sandusky norwalk just above norwalk we're going to continue on highway 80 fremont and as we approach we're going to take highway 280 highway 280 will turn toledo toledo is going to turn into 75 75 we're going to be going beautiful scenery right here we got this huge beautiful lake right here we're going to go right through that and there is a truck stop pilot right around this area right before i will jump on 275 north our location we're going to be down here all right so i will be pulling over here at the truck stop so when i get there i'll, I'll punch and i'll give you guys some uh a documentary at that pilot location and then we're going to move from there once more. There's another truck right up there in this area. So we're going to get close as possible to this location. So that way tomorrow, I mean, it's 12 o'clock in the afternoon. I mean, I don't have to move from here either. I can just park here and hang out and have a nice time. But then again, let's see what happens. Let's get there first. And then we're going to analyze and draw the line and see if we, is it worth staying or, or not because it is 160 miles now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna X out here I'm gonna go ahead and put travel center of America let me see no there's got to be another one where is the where's the travel center of America let me see we got pilot flying J West okay here it is sorry guys it's 160 miles from here to the customers location but I have to go to pilot so let's see I don't think this is 160 miles it's gonna Woodhaven Michigan West Road Wood, Woodhaven Michigan Ah, uh, so see there you go we just saved 20 minutes so we have two hours left of driving and we wait a second no 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 we got there's something wrong here if this is 275 I need to be stopped right here somewhere not up there because then I'm passing my destination line 275 is my highway right here so I need to be down here somewhere so I gotta find a truck stop just around down here before I head up there 
Oh no, no, let me see something else. Now this is another thing I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna X out here and I'm gonna come down here and Google. Actually, let me go back here and flip back the pages here and co click that. And we're gonna put down here, truck stop near, uh, let me see, let's see. Here we go, we got, Ah, uh, there you go, see that? I knew it. Come on. Oh, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Okay, I got it on a wrong location. That's two hours. We got another one right here. It says Pilot Travel Center. And then we got Travel Center of America. So why don't we go to Travel Pilot? Yep. And let's see how far that is. Here we go. No, don't tell me that. Ah, uh, it's less than two hours. It is 157, I mean, sorry, 134 miles, one hour and 57 minutes. Let's clock that in, and here we go. That's it. That's where we're going to crash on the 275, and then we're going to measure, see how far is it, because if my, once again, my appointment is at 12, so, I mean, if I leave at 9 a.m., that, that still gives me three hours of driving, so is it worth it, or is it not? because my Tuesday delivery is 12 o'clock also. So, either way, I got everything lined up accordingly, properly, professionally. I'll catch you guys later, and um, see you later.